Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy sealed products and singles directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a Black Rat treasure deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring four copies of Security Rocks, normally a 4 mana 5-4, but we can spend a red and a green to cast it if we spend mana from treasures to cast it this way. And this deck is pretty unique as we have two different ways of casting a Security Rocks as early as turn 2. The first method is pretty familiar, turn 1 Shambling Ghast, sacrifice it to Deadly Dispute, make two treasures and play a turn 2 security rocks. The second method involves a turn 1 gold hound, which is a 1-1 treasure dog with first strike and menace, can also be sacrificed like any treasure adding one mana of any color, and then at turn 2 we play Kalein Reclusive Painter, entering the battlefield creating a treasure token, and then other creatures we control enter the battlefield with an additional plus 1 plus 1 counter on them for each mana from a treasure spent to cast them. So turn 1 gold hound into turn 2 Kalein, we can also play a security rocks in the same turn and then it will enter with two plus one plus one counters, so that's a turn two, seven, six, incredibly powerful. Then looking at the rest of our deck, we're also featuring four copies of Professional Facebreaker as the main card draw engine in the deck, a 2-3 with Menace, saying whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, create a treasure token, and we can sacrifice a treasure at any time to exile the top card of our library, and we may play that card this turn, including lands. So the Facebreaker normally only creates one treasure token each combat, but if we control a first strike or double strike creature, like a gold hound, we can potentially make a treasure with first strike damage and then a second treasure token with regular damage, so that's another reason to like gold hound in this deck. And then the face breaker can provide a ton of card advantage and can also set up our security rocks. And then especially alongside Zorn we can create a ton of treasures, a 3-2 saying if we would create one or more treasure tokens, instead create those tokens plus an additional treasure token instead. We also have four copies of Sticky Fingers, an enchantment aura, making our creatures gain menace, and then when that creature deals combat damage to a player, we create another treasure token, and when the enchanted creature dies, we also draw a card, so we don't feel too bad if our creature gets killed eventually. So Sticky Fingers on our security rocks gains it menace, and that's another way to potentially get around chum blockers and keep our treasures flowing to eventually turn into card advantage with our face breaker, or maybe extra plus one plus one counters with Kalein. And then looking at the rest of our deck, we also have a bit of removal with two copies of Infernal Grasp and four copies of Voltage Surge. Can also sacrifice a treasure to deal four damage as opposed to just two. And our mana base only 22 lands since our curve is relatively low. Also part of the reason we want to keep the curve low is so if we exile a card with Professional Face Breaker, we're more likely to be able to play it to chain together a whole bunch of cards in the same turn. And then we also have some creature lands to maybe help close out the game with two copies of Hive of the Eye Tyrants and two copies of Den of the Bugbear. We do have some green pathways in the deck, but for the most part we're playing our lands as red and black since we only need green mana to hard cast security rocks, which doesn't come up all that often as we can usually play it using our treasures. And we also have one of each of the channel lands. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the draw, and we've got the potential of a turn two security rocks with two plus one counters if we draw it. Turn one gold hound, turn two Kalein will set that up. And then we still have some nice interaction with Voltage Surge and Grasp, and that Deadly Dispute will combine nicely with the rest of our hand. Turn one forests. Make that red green. And the Magda is probably a must answer for us. Although Goldhound does block it profitably. So maybe it's okay to just play Kalein and pass. And then we can always Voltage Surge or even Infernal Grasp if really necessary. Opponent moves to combats. So maybe they really want that treasure token. Alright, so this could be a turn 3 chariot, perhaps. It's gonna be Ginny Fey instead. Okay. That one we can kill in a multitude of ways. Let's maybe play Phase Breaker first. Then... 
Hmm, I guess I attack with Gold Hound, which would result in one treasure. And then I could Voltage Surge, killing Ginny Fei if I sacrifice Gold Hound. Although I don't really want to do that. Although I still like getting the Phase Breaker in play. Yeah, I think we still go with that line. Attack. And then we don't have to kill Ginny unless they threaten to make a lot of tokens. It's gonna be Ognis, the Dragon's Lash. Okay, so that plus the hasty cats from Ginny could be threatening. But for now, don't have to answer them. So yeah, we probably want to kill one of their creatures now. And I'm guessing Ognis is the higher value target, although it's close. Since they're both pretty good, but we may be able to deal with both. So... If that's the case, I guess we can Infernal Grasp one of them as well. Voltage Surge, sacking the treasure, just attack. Yeah, that's probably good enough for now. And then we'll get a treasure from First Strike and one from regular damage. And then we'll keep Zorn for next turn. It's gonna be Delina, Wild Mage. Still dies to Voltage Surge. And Targnar. So this may be a Bard class deck given all these legendaries. Okay, we've got our land for the turn. So I can play Zorn. Probably kill Delina, and then Zorn can enter with a plus one counter. So our menace creatures get to attack. And then I'll save some treasure to maybe hit a land drop with Face Breaker. Which is why I didn't play my land pre combat. Shambling Gas is not bad. Can combine it with Deadly Disputes. Gold Hounds. Alright, so how about we just play Shambling Gas and Gold Hounds? Shambling Gas just using our land since we're gonna sack it anyway. And Gold Hound with a plus one counter. Keeping up Deadly Dispute. All right, Jetmir, 5-4, not pumping anything yet, but also points towards Bard class. And then we might as well untap first. And then now Deadly Dispute, sacking Shambling Ghast, make a whole bunch of treasure. Finding a Security Rocks we can play, and Sticky Fingers we can put on Zorn. Can maybe activate Phase Breaker a little bit before we move to combat. Another Security Rocks, so we can play two of them. And I'll sack one more treasure here. Another Sticky Fingers. Yeah, I guess we can still play that one. Put it on Colleen. I'll play the Security Rocks from Exile while Colleen is still alive. Although opponent may just be dead here or close to it. So many menace creatures to deal with. And yeah, we were lucky to dodge Bard class, which would have been quite scary from the other side. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is... Potentially exciting if we find either Kalein or Deadly Dispute to set up an early security rocks. So we've got eight cards we are hoping to draw. Kalein would be the best one since it sets up a 7-6 security rocks. It's gonna be a Zorn for now. 
So let's go with a higher upside play. Goldhound also a better blocker here. Patchwork Automaton. And sadly no Kalein. Alright, we'll go with uh, Shambling Ghasts. Could also ramp out one of our three drops. That doesn't seem as appealing. Since I want to keep Goldhound. Not our automaton is scary. And my opponent may be looking to reconfigure Rapid Battery. So don't really want to double block since we cannot pay the ward costs. Could jump block just to make a treasure, doesn't seem worth it. But what we can do is play Face Breaker Attack and then the opponent will have to decide whether or not they want to trade Automaton or give us an extra treasure. And then we can play Security Rocks afterwards if they take it. So another bad turn 3. Still have a Zorn to provide more treasure. Although if they can keep growing Automaton, we might have difficulty attacking. It's gonna be a Raichu. That can maybe attack, put a counter on itself. Do we let that happen is a question. Or do we trade? Next turn... I can still attack with maybe Shambling Ghasts and Goldhound at the very least. Since then we would trade for Automaton, generate a few treasure tokens and use Phase Breaker for card advantage. So I feel like I don't want to fall behind on board to this Raiju when we have the card advantage going in our favor. Deadly Dispute is excellent. So now probably want to attack first. Hope they just take it and then we can play Zorn plus maybe Deadly Dispute as well. Or we could play Zorn first. Although then I cannot pay the ward cost if they block Shambling Ghast with a 3 3 automaton. So. I think we start by attacking. Although I guess one could make the argument that. If they block Shambling Ghast, then they're not blocking Gold Hounds, and the first strike would happen first. So then we would still have the mana to pay for Ward. So maybe playing Zorn first would have worked out. But uh, still pretty happy with this. And then... Can maybe use some green mana later. Pass it back. Synthesizer would grow Automaton. But we may want to Deadly Dispute Shambling Ghasts. And then we would create some treasure tokens, I think, before we have to target Automaton with Ward, although that may not be correct, actually, because this would trigger first before we get the treasure tokens. And then we would have to pay for Ward. So that doesn't actually work the way I want it to. All right, so we'll let that happen, I guess. And we'll keep our treasure to draw with Phase Breaker. The opponent can keep digging with Synthesizer if they'd like. 4-4 four, four Automaton attacks. Works for me. And our opponent moves Rapid Battery. Alright, we'll untap for now. Start by maybe using the Face Breaker once. Kalein's nice. Play that, generate two treasure. And then I could attack with Face Breaker, Gold Hound, maybe even Zorn. Although it would be nice to keep Zorn around. So let's just send the menace creatures. Generate some more treasure. 
And now we're going off. Use Phase Breaker again. Haven't played land for the turn yet. Grasp we can play. But want to find a land here. Gold Hound's nice. Voltage Surge. Alright, so can we just kill all our opponent stuff now? Looks like it. So kill Tomatom. Pay the wards. And then if I play my land and sacrifice the Gold Hound in play, we can get there, or we can sacrifice to Deadly Dispute, which may be better, as we'll generate four more treasure. And then can play Gold Hounds, Voltage Surge, sacking a treasure. And then I'll have to wait on security rocks, but that's fine. I'm sure we could have sequenced slightly differently, but that seems good enough. Synthesizer goes digging. Makes a token, finds a reactor. A little bit late to the party. And Kumano deals one. Okay. Can activate the Den of the Bugbear if we'd like. And then send in Den, the two Gold Hounds. Probably don't want to attack with Phase Breakers since I would just trade for a 2 2 token. And then we lose our card draw engine. But we'll get four treasure here, most likely. And then we'll use one to go digging. Find another security rocks. So can't quite play both, but one's enough. Enters with two counters. And uh, we'll pass it back. A sticky fingers on security rocks would close out the game nicely, but they seem to be in trouble. Reactor kills Gold Hound. And another Zorn to draw, so send the team, opponent chumps, and they still seem pretty dead. All right, sweet. Got to see your deck go off here. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and yeah, we've got two turns to draw security rocks to play it on turn two. So hopefully that's the case. If not, we still have a very functional hand. Turn one, Gold Hound. Turn two, can maybe run out Kalein alongside the Sticky Fingers, we'll see. Opponent with a Brushfire Elemental hitting us. Alright, so no security rocks. In that case, do we want a Sticky Fingers on Gold Hound to generate an extra treasure? Yeah, sure. And then we can still play Klein afterwards. And then Triple Deadly Dispute's gonna dig pretty deep for our various synergies. Might need some removal here against the red-green aggro deck. Pickaxe, so looks like a landfall deck. 
And yeah, the new cycle of fetch lands from Streets of New Capenna may be enabling it. As a brush fire hits us for 9. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Shambling Ghast, the draw. Okay, that kills Brushfire Elemental. So that's perfect. Do I have the mana to play a Phase Breaker first? Attack. I get 3 treasure total. Since we get 1 from Sticky Fingers. And then 1 from First Strike, 1 from regular damage. So then I'll still have the mana to Shambling Ghast plus Deadly Dispute. So let's attack. And play Shambling Ghasts. Might want a Deadly Dispute now. In case of any instant speed land drops, opponent might be playing that 3 mana Roiling Regrowth. And they might have some other pump spells, who knows. And this way we get to hit our land drop for the turn. Okay, feeling a bit better about our situation now. Flanchling could still grow quite large with landfall, but we have two menacing creatures that can attack past it, and I guess we can make it three menacing creatures. So Fledgling picks up two plus one plus one counters, and her opponent gains one more life. So yeah, definitely a nice budget option. If you don't have a ton of rare lands, a landfall with a new fetch land, Voltage Surge, a perfect answer to the Fledgling. Although still like Sticky Fingers on Colleen. Attack. Can sacrifice a treasure to Deadly Dispute as well. To once again hit our land drop, or we could use the Face Breaker's ability. But might as well make use of the two mana that otherwise goes to waste. There's our lands, and might wait until they equip the pickaxe. There's a land, so fledgling still within range of Voltage Surge. It's interesting that they didn't equip the pickaxe, maybe they have other plans. And we'll see what those are. Roiling Regrowth, so our opponent did have instant speed way of growing the fledgling, so glad we waited. That works. And our opponent's pretty far behind. It's gonna take us a few turns to close out the game, unless we can find the security rocks next turn. Which would be quite large, admittedly. Another sticky fingers. Let's start by digging. Maybe we can find Zorn before we attack to make more treasure. Speak of the devil. And I don't think I want to use all my treasure for Zorn, even though that would mean more plus one counters. Play Zorn, and then, yeah, it's probably fine to Sticky Fingers, Phase Breaker here, even though we could keep it for Zorn. Attack. And this is going to be a lot of treasures. Doubled by Zorn, essentially. Up to 13. Alright, let's start digging. Deadly Dispute's not bad. Want to find at least one security rocks. I'll wait to play out my land in case we find a creature land we might want to play instead. There's Den of the Bugbear. Voltage Surge, not too useful. Alright, maybe it's time to play a Deadly Dispute here. Zorn's not bad. So, play Zorn first using one of the Exalt lands. Do I want a Den? Eh, maybe I prefer the untapped land, actually. Play Zorn. And I guess, sure, we might as well use three treasures. And then we can Deadly Dispute, sacrificing maybe the Gold Hound at this point. Draw two, make uh, three treasures, thanks to double Zorn. And then we can keep digging for security rocks if we haven't drawn one already. And then our opponent should be dead on the following turn. Awesome, on to the next one.
Okay, we're on the play, and we're just one Kalein away from having a turn to 7-6. So, gotta keep and cross our fingers. And then turn on Gold Hounds. Even if we don't draw Kalein, it's still a reasonable hand with Facebreaker playing well with Gold Hound. Opponent on Monorant with turn one Kumano, sadly no Kalein. Alright, I guess uh, just Shambling Gas for now. And then next turn, Phase Breaker could maybe set up Security Rocks. If we can connect with both of our creatures. Okay, Mechanauts with a plus one counter. So, does prevent us from attacking with Shambling Gast, unless we just want to attack to make a treasure to still set up our Security Rocks. Which is also reasonable. So turn three it is. And we've got another one waiting in the wings. Can just hard cast it for four mana if we'd like. Lizard Blades for just one mana, so they can reconfigure it still. And Mechanaut could hit for six. Well, at least we get to hit back for quite a bit and make a few treasures in the process. So, step one attack. And then I may be fine activating Phase Breaker over playing Security Rocks, since we can just hard cast it. Although if we draw into another 3-drop, for instance, I wouldn't be able to play it and Security Rocks. So maybe we'll save our treasures for next turn and just hard cast our 4-drop, and then we can make use of our treasures next turn to maybe try and find a bit of a removal. It's going to be another Mechanaut, so Artifact's now getting a 2 mana discount. Bronze Plate Boar for 1 mana. And hit for 6. Okay, let's untap. And start digging with Phase Breaker. Need to find some interaction. That's not it. Another security rocks, okay. Well, I can send in the two five fours. And that's probably it. If our opponent can reconfigure bronze plate bore. If they have a land, then we're just dead, so maybe I should have attacked with a little bit more. I guess we can still sack gold hounds to Phase Breaker to maybe find an extra removal spell. Sticky fingers, a little bit late to the party. Hmm. Yeah, possible I should have been digging more aggressively for removal or made a more all-out attack to try and find some. And I think I prefer Den over Sticky Fingers here. And yeah, they've got the land to reconfigure onto the Mechanaut, so that's going to hit for 12 now. All right, GG's. Couldn't quite get there. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems good enough. Turn 1 Shambling Ghast, turn 2 could put a Sticky Fingers on it, and then Phase Breaker to provide more treasure. Let's see what we're up against. Red green, another face breaker. We'll get this going. So we're also more likely to connect if the turn we play our three drop. So we would love to find something like a gold hound to also come down. So first try can provide an extra treasure with a face breaker. 
But for now, we'll just play our three drop attack. And we can voltage surge in the opponent's turn. Could also play a second phase breaker, I suppose. Yeah, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Although now we cannot necessarily play a 4 damage Voltage Surge if our opponent plays I can seek us Chariot. It's gonna be a briefcase. And that's it. Okay, Security Rocks is awesome. So, Phase Breaker number 3, attack. They could double block Shambling Ghast if they'd like. They don't even bother. So, 4 treasures. We can spend 2 on Security Rocks. Could also try and hit our land drop with the Phase Breaker's ability. Although if we draw like a 2 or 3 drop, then things might get a little awkward. But that works. Pass it back. And next turn we have another treasure we can use for card advantage. A rabble Rousing, okay. So that can generate a few extra tokens perhaps. But our opponent is under a lot of pressure. They don't have any amazing attacks right now. But I guess they can still gain a life here with Innkeeper, which also could have potentially killed with Voltage Surge. Untap. Zorn, okay. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Play Zorn. Attack with the team. And there's a lot of treasure incoming. Opponent just takes it all. Falls to three. And that's nine treasure total. Start digging. Kalein's not bad. Hive could be our land for the turn. I think we can do at least one more. Another land. Just want to find another action piece here. Just finding lines so far. Alright, another Zorn. So play that first, even though I guess Kalein first would let Zorn come into play with a few plus one counters. Which could be relevant if her opponent maybe has some sort of sweeper. Dealing three to each non-token. Could see that being relevant. And play our Hive and pass. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a keepable hand. Kalein into Face Breaker. Can maybe even add a Sticky Fingers to Kalein. But no need to play them now. Opponent Black Green. Liberator. Okay. Don't want it to transform to nighttime and lose all our treasures to it. So I think we play Face Breaker and then we can use a treasure so it enters with a counter and sticky fingers on Kalein. So we generate two treasures here. And we'll save our second Sticky Fingers for later. And then we might start our next turn by using the Face Breaker. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is quite good. So opponent can now a double block if they want. So finding removal would be nice. Let's go digging. Deadly Disputes. Okay, so I can Deadly Dispute with my author Treasure Token. Could also try and attack and then Dispute if they double block, but they probably double block Phase Breaker, which... It's not something I want to lose. There we go, Voltage Surge. So now... I could attack with both, and if they double block Phase Breaker we get to punish them. If they double block Kalein, it doesn't quite work out. So I could just attack with Phase Breaker, I suppose. Maybe even put a sticky fingers on it to incentivize them. 
Or if I Sticky Fingers Face Breaker, they might still go for the double block. Perfect. And then we get to make two more treasure. And we'll save that for next turn. Alright, so we've got a lot riding on this face breaker, not getting removed. But opponent could have any number of answers in junt colors. Alright, and our opponent explodes, I guess too far behind. And uh, yeah, if they don't have removal here, we get to draw quite a few extra cards next turn. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we have what looks like a fine hand. Especially if we pick up a deadly dispute, we can set up a turn two security rocks. For now, shambling ghasts. Turn two sticky fingers, perhaps. Up against a red black. Make that Grixis. And there's Kalein. If only we had a gold hound turn one instead. So. I think I'm still into the idea of Sticky Fingers, and then we can also play Kalein afterwards. And then next turn, we can maybe have our 7-6 Security Rocks. Opponent passes with a bunch of mana up. And we will move to combats unless we want to play a face breaker first, which I guess is reasonable. And then we can play our security rocks afterwards. Playing face breaker with a treasure was also an option. So it entered with an extra plus one counter. And Maestro's Charm was going to kill it regardless. Alright, that happens. We'll attack. And now we'll play a creature that survives a Maestro's Charm. So not a bad turn three. Big score is gonna go digging, discarding a negate. And, wow, well, opponents explode, so they must not have found what they were looking for. And just under too much pressure here, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Our hand is a little bit slow to get going, but double face breaker plus Zorn is promising. So I'll try it. Ideally, pick up like a sticky fingers, a deadly dispute. Kalim would be nice on turn two. Even a gold hound to combine with Phase Breaker. Opponent on blank green. Alright, there's our sticky fingers we asked for. So next turn, Phase Breaker. And then maybe turn after we can play Zorn or another Phase Breaker. Opponent Sultai colors. And a fight rigging, okay. Fight rigging combo. And yeah, they could enable it next turn, either with the Kraken or the 3 mana 6 powered creature. Kalein's not bad. So I could go with Kalein into Phase Breaker. Kind of like that idea. That way, Phase Breaker enters with 2 plus 1 counters. And we get two more treasure. Let's see if they can enable fight rigging. No double blue for Kraken, so it's just a binding to kill face breaker. Alright. That's too bad. But a land still lets me double up here. And then... We may want to split the difference, or we might want to put all our plus one counters on Face Breaker. Which is probably the creature that's going to do most of the attacking if the opponent presents a large blocker. 
So can play Zorn without using any treasures, and then Phase Breaker. And that's going to result in quite a few treasures. Two from Sticky Fingers, and then two more from Phase Breaker. And then I don't think we go digging just yet. Opponent against two ramp. The red mana for the backside of Valky. And another binding. Gonna kill Facebreaker again. Alright, that's starting to get a bit annoying. So that dies. Still have a lot of treasure to maybe use Kalein to play creatures with plus one counters or activate Hive. Looks like we'll just be activating Hive here. And then I guess we can use some green man in the future. Opponent is at 14, about to take pretty big beating. Down to 5. And no shortage of treasure. But we'll see if they can enable fight rigging and stabilize. Could see a Vorinclex hard cast. Another fight rigging instead. Okay, so just missing the enabler. At 2 mana, they could still have a removal spell here. Power Word Kill comes to mind, but that wouldn't be enough. So I think our opponent's dead here. And we can even use Crucible to make a couple hasty 1-1s. One and yep, yeah, it's going to be a Retrieval as a Bounce spell instead. Yep. So it looks like the deck list we featured a couple weeks ago. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got a potentially exciting hand. If Shambling Ghast into Dispute draws into Security Rocks, we can play it on turn two. So, gotta give it a shot. Opponent Red-White with a Moth Rider Patrol. Alright, let's attack and then see if they block. But I'm probably sacking Shambling Gas to dispute either way. And we'll make treasure since that's the highest upside if we draw rocks. Alright, found a Kalein instead. That's fine, I guess we'll uh, wait until next turn to player. And then now drawing security rocks could maybe result in a few extra plus one counters as well. It's our opponent on a warrior deck. And there we go, okay. So not quite turn two, but I'll still take it. Kalein into a 7-6 security rocks. And then I could also play a 2-2 gold hound, which is probably worth it. Don't foresee needing to voltage surge just yet. Sparring regimen can learn, maybe find an answer for security rocks. And then patrol can attack for two. Back up Kalein. Okay, so can attack with rocks and gold hound. Unless we want to kill the patrol, then uh, Kalein could also attack, but then Blademaster hits back pretty hard. Yeah, we'll just send these two for now. Opponent takes it. And then do we want to play backup Kalein or not? Doesn't seem super necessary. We'll wait to Voltage Surge whichever creature they decide to pump. I'm assuming it's going to be Blademaster. Opponent still missing the double white for reduce to memory. Boots of Speed also reason to kill Blademaster. As the patrol now has double strike. And we'll see where the counter goes. Opponent deciding whether or not Blademaster wants to attack. And yeah, it's going to be the recipient of that plus one counter, so let's take it out. And then Hive of the Eye Tyrant gets to attack back as well. 
And then the 1-1 patrol probably has to chum block here to survive. And our opponent has seen enough. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, it finally happened. The perfect hands. Turn on Goldhound. Turn to Kalein into Security Rocks. Let's go. And then probably want to keep Sticky Fingers to put on the Security Rocks. Kind of the cherry on top of this already delicious cake. Going on blue white. Passes. Well, let's go. They may be holding a march, which could mess this up, so let's hope this works out. There we go. Perfect. Turn to 7 6. And at 4 mana, doesn't get exiled by March all that easily. It's gonna be a Storm Chaser Drake. Okay, it's time for Sticky Fingers. And then we can maybe Deadly Dispute the treasure that we generate. Pass it back. Possible I want to Deadly Dispute in response here, in case I can find a copy of Voltage Surge. Why not? And there we have it. The perfect draw keeps on delivering. Get in there. And next turn we also have Den of the Bugbear to maybe close out the game using our treasure. Okay, it finally happened. Awesome. Turn to 7-6 Security Rocks. So overall, what do we think of the deck? I don't think I can recommend it for ranked play, since it's still a little bit inconsistent. If we don't get a face breaker in play, it kind of lacks late game card draw. And against removal heavy decks and sweepers, it can struggle to catch back up. So definitely not a deck that's very competitive, but certainly a lot of fun and has a lot of cool synergies that you don't get to see in many other decks in standard. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. I wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.